Thanks for joining us. Doctors today are warning about an unusual uptick in a serious illness. More and more young children are getting knocked out by pneumonia. Yes, youngest son also got it, and that was the thing. We were certainly on, on high alert. And here's what parents need to be on high alert for. A deep cough, fever, fatigue, and sore throat that just won't go away. Our Jonah Kaplan talked to a doctor about this spreading concern. When you've got young kids, it's always something. Daniel Shiat is a dad to three boys. You go through all of the different ailments that it could be. Flu, COVID, bacterial virus. But pneumonia? I had never really heard of kids getting pneumonia, so it just never really crossed our mind. Why their middle son, Reuben, wouldn't stop coughing and why his fever kept coming back? Questions the Shiats couldn't get out of their minds. Their pediatrician then suggested a chest x-ray, which found some fluid and inflammation in Reuben's lungs. A few weeks later, their son Perry got it too. A little bit of relief when you get the diagnosis, because at least they're confident on what it was, but certainly scary too, because when you think pneumonia in adults, it can be a pretty serious uh, a pretty serious thing. That pneumonia is becoming so prevalent among youngsters, yes, physicians say that's serious, but this pneumonia isn't debilitating, which is why it's being called walking pneumonia. Dr. Melanie Lind Ayers is a pediatrician in St. Louis Park. She said her clinic has seen hundreds of cases this fall. They're up at night coughing, they're not sleeping well, um, they're maybe having these fevers and they can't go to school. So overall quality of life is certainly affected, but it isn't necessarily translating into increased hospitalization. So not too dangerous, but having an overtired kid isn't nothing. I could talk all day about the importance of sleep on um, uh, the brain functioning, mood, uh, illness prevention, um, healthy bodies. In St. Louis Park, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. Parents should consider taking their kids to the doctor if their fever lasts more than three days and the cough gets worse after a week.